welcome to today's video so before we start the video my makeup is not looking too great today because i did it like 10 hours ago and now it's the evening and i've decided that i'm going to film this video i've had a busy day i've gone to b m well I w it's not a busy day but i've gone to b m and walked back yeah my makeup's not looking too great i've applied some lipstick which i'm not sure how i feel about that but we're just going to carry on with this video and the little fireplace guy is back now it's getting closer to autumn and winter i've got the little fireplace guy back i know it's just a video of a fireplace on a laptop but i just find it cozy like in the video like when i'm filming it and when i'm editing the video back and i like it okay so yeah i've got myself a cup of tea because i am kind of thirsty is it normal to get a cup of tea when you're thirsty i don't know but my lipstick's gonna rub off as well so i'll just pop that down because it's a bit warm today we are going to be doing a b&m haul so i don't know if this is like the usual b&m bags oh that's heavy but here it is this is my b&m bag and it's so heavy there's like loads of cleaning things in here and you know some other bits and bobs i went to b&m with a list i got pretty much everything on my list the only thing i didn't get was a candle so i still am yet to get like an autumn candle or something like that but I've got all the cleaning products that I want. So I thought that I would share with you what I got. If you like cleaning products like me, you will like this video. So carry on watching. So let's start off interesting. We have toilet blocks. <laughs> I actually really love toilet blocks. Um, this video is going to be funny because I'm just going to talk about cleaning products really passionately because I love cleaning products. But I love toilet blocks. I love toilet blocks you literally put them in the back of the system so like at the back of the toilet and it will just kind of chill there and every time you flush the toilet it will be a nice purpley color there was green ones i've had blue ones before and this time i'm using the purple ones these tend to last like a month or more and it's only a pound for six so i think these are definitely well worth the money there are some like branded ones of these toilet blocks that last longer and some that don't last as long as that but these ones are cheap enough and they work really well so i like these ones and i would recommend i like to flush the toilet and see a nice like blue or purple or green color that is from these little guys because it just looks nice and refreshing and clean i got these which i've never had these before but my mum recently got like something like this um like a different scent but i went for the summer breeze ones because i was thinking oh do i go for a different one but i thought you know what i'm gonna go for this one because we're still semi in summer and also um i won't be able to try these until next year so i'm gonna have this scent now but this is the lenore in wash scent booster so you can either like pop you know however many of these into the wash i think it says a cap full i am stingy with products like this and i won't put that much in but it will still make the clothes smell better than they would um but i will be stingy with this little guy but another use for these little kind of like um ball things is to pop them oh i heard my phone go another use is to pop them into like little bowls around the house or around my flat and it will scent each room my mum does this in her house and i literally wake up in the morning go down into the various different rooms and you can just smell them and that's every single day so the smell the smell remains so excited to try this i can't smell it um because it's kind of sealed but i will show it in like a cleaning video or something like that probably should go check on my phone just in case goodness sake it's literally <laughs> Um, just telling me somebody started following me. That is really annoying. Um, usually it doesn't do that. I don't like to be notified by pointless things like that. Um, but yeah, my phone's on charge, so I couldn't bring it up here. But shall we continue? Next up, I got something that's not a cleaning product. It's a makeup product. This, I got the Maybelline 24 Hour Superstay Full Coverage Foundation. This one is in the shade 21 Nude Beige. Now, I didn't realise that B&M sold makeup products that are cheaper than what you would find at Superdrug and Boots and online. Like, this was £4 something, and usually it's about, I don't know, £8, maybe a tenner, I'm not sure. This was one of my all-time favourite foundations because of the coverage of it, and, you know, it can look a little bit cakey, 
now and again but i don't tend to apply like that that much of this particular foundation um so i was so pleased when i saw that i was looking for another foundation anyway because my current wet and wild one has run out so yeah super glad about that if you want to get like cheaper makeup go to b&m my hair is not doing good <laughs> i also picked up just some bicarbonate of soda i know i can just get this like probably like cheaper and like more of it like in the food section of a supermarket but I saw it there and I just thought you know what I'm gonna get some of this and it was only a pound for this like little box um and I'm gonna use it like specifically for cleaning I then got this which I haven't had in ages this is the Fabulosa foam freshener this is to um like put onto carpets so once I've hoovered all of my carpets, I will just give this a shake, go over all my carpets and it will just make them smell really, really nice. It like refreshes, no, it like freshens the carpets up. And I like, you know, to do that after I've hoovered because it just, it just feels like, yeah, I've hoovered all the mess up and now I'm going to make it smell nice kind of thing. I don't like shake and vac because I feel like I'm just making a mess just for me to clean it up and it just provides extra work. Whereas this, you're just kind of spraying it on the floor and it makes a really lovely smell. So yeah, I got this. I would highly recommend if you don't do that on your carpets because it does make a massive difference. For some reason it does get to my lungs though. I'm not sure why, but I'm always like coughing afterwards but it's okay, we, we'll deal with it. Now, we have a product which is probably the star of the show. If you ever clean showers or anywhere that could potentially get like mold because there's water around that area, you need this and you need to try this. If you haven't already, go and get it. This was £2.99, best £2.99 you will ever spend. This is the Silit Bang Black Mold Remover. Now, this is the one of the products in the world that actually genuinely does what it says works miracles like there's mold in my shower it won't go from just any other product not bleach not scrubbing it nothing as soon as this is applied to it the mold just disappears by itself like i just spray this on and after five minutes the mold's gone and the science behind that is just amazing like i literally cannot get my head around it but whoever made this product whatever team of people they know what they're doing and they research into it really well because it works so good i would recommend this is this is just crazy stuff it is it's insane and it's so strong that it actually stained one of my jumpers i got a lincoln uni jumper come through the post last week and i was wearing it whilst using this product um in a different bottle that i've now run out of and I accidentally got some on my jumper and it made the jumper go from grey to pink um, and it's irreversible. So just be careful with it because it is a strong product, but I don't mind. It was just a Lincoln Uni jumper. So if it was going to happen to any clothing item, that was okay to happen to that one. Right, I'm really thirsty. I think B&M is definitely one of my like favourite shops because everything is like really decently priced. And there is literally just so much great stuff in there and things that you wouldn't even see in other shops. Next product I got was Zaflora. So this is the Zaflora Country Garden scented one and Zaflora in general is just amazing. I have had the grapefruit scented one, bluebell woods and also the bouquet of flower scented one which I've nearly run out of. Now I um, have picked this one up which is probably going to be my autumn kind of scented one because I didn't really see any other scents like that were like autumn themed so I just went for this one. I know this is not an autumn scent but um, this is just the one that I haven't tried before so I'll be interesting to try it. I'm going to give it a little smell now. But Zaflora is amazing. I use this by putting like one or two capfuls into like a washing up bowl, add some um, boiling water from the kettle and the steam mixed with this product goes into the air and scents everywhere really nicely. And then when the water's kind of cooled down, I will then use a cloth and wipe around all of the surfaces in my flat and it disinfects everywhere and it makes everywhere smell really nice. So let's give this one a smell. Ooh, that actually smells so fresh like this to me is like a fresh linen kind of smell not necessarily a garden actually no I suppose it could be a garden smell yeah this is actually really nice it doesn't smell like leaves or grass or anything like that more like flowers but there is a picture of flowers on there so yeah that's that's really nice I like that so that's gonna be my next kind of as a floret and then the one after that will be like a Christmassy one that I will then purchase nearer the time I also got some bleach. This is just 
bleach literally any bleach um just to kind of like for when i'm cleaning and things like that i really love cleaning and just you know i just enjoy cleaning my shower cleaning my sink the toilet anything and this is just one of those things that you just happen to use with everything so i picked up one of those and bleach is obviously really cheap i also got one of these which is the febreze fabric refreshener this is the winter based formula i know we're definitely not in winter yet we're still in summer approaching autumn though um but i just picked this up and i love these what i do is i get these i spray them every single day when i'm at my flat if i'm at my parents um, then obviously I can't do that because I'm at my flat. Um, but I do also have one of my parents that I spray in my bedroom. Um, so I really do love this stuff. But I will go around, spray the carpets, spray my bed or towels or um, like mats and rugs and the sofa. Just anything with a material because this kind of clings to that material. And the smell is just really, really nice. And I like to do that every single day because it's just like a fresh um kind of smell that you can smell throughout the day and i like to do this every single morning um so i would recommend these i then picked up this which is the saint ives fresh skin apricot scrub now this said this says it deeply exfoliates and removes impurities for glowing skin i just saw this and i thought oh that sounds kind of interesting and apricots um i don't know it smells really nice anyway i just saw it i thought you know what i'm gonna give this a go um so yeah i picked this up and i will give it a try and let you know in one of my weekly vlogs if you watch my weekly vlogs on here if not please do i then also picked up this w7 sheer loose powder i'm not sure if this will be a little bit too dark for my like skin but i think it'll be okay yeah i think that'll be fine um i'm not super super keen on loose powders in general because they can be quite messy they can also look quite cakey on the skin but there was no pressed powders i'm i am desperate for a powder like my powder has run out so i just picked this one up it's in the shade ivory and um and it, it will do it will be you know an okay product um but i'll have to let you know because i don't think i have tried this specific brand um for loose powders before i then got another deodorant not exactly the most exciting thing but it says it's from nivea and it says pearl and beauty um it looks kind of nice i think it's like um yeah like a pearlescent kind of color and yeah i think that's quite cool usually when i get these deodorants you can't see the liquid inside but in this you can so at least i'll know when i'm running low and the last two things that i purchased from b&m were shampoo and conditioners so these actually look i think these look quite nice so this is the um strawberry shampoo from i think it's xhc it's oh i'm not sure on the brand it's like expel hair care um but yeah strawberry shampoo strawberry conditioner and these are only a pound each and i thought that was quite good because i think these look quite nice like if you had these in the shower or on the side like they look like they cost more than one pound i think um so i got those for that reason you know maybe they'll be annoying to use because the bottles you won't be able to squeeze them you know nicely but I think that's not too much of a problem and I'm not sure about the actual products itself maybe they will irritate my hair maybe they'll make my hair itch I'm not sure or my scalp because yeah you can't get itchy hair itchy scalp um because sometimes like products like this can do that but um strawberry i love the scent of strawberries so yeah i'm excited to use these and i think they look really cute so that is everything that i purchased from B&M mainly cleaning products but we do have some like makeup bits as well the things that i'm most excited to try in here are um this little guy also the apricot scrub i want to give that a go my shampoo and conditioner and i'm also kind of ex excited to use my foundation again that i used to really love and um, even though i have tried that many many times but i haven't used it for ages so i'm excited to give that a go um but yeah that's everything i've got from b&m i love 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 cleaning products so hopefully you enjoyed this video i will be doing probably a similar video to this when it comes kind of like nearer to christmas time when i just need to kind of stock up on my cleaning bits but that is everything i've got and um thanks for watching so give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it please subscribe i have a video coming on 
I'm not sure. <laughs> I basically, I'm not sure what goes on on my channel, but I post weekly vlogs, I post videos like this, and I also sometimes post um, pod, like YouTube podcast episodes with my mum that I've been filming. So um, stay tuned and stick around for those because we chat about a lot of different things. Um, but yeah, there's a variety of content on my channel, but yeah, stay subscribed. Um, but yeah, I'll see you in my next one. Goodbye. <laughs>